Hello Elevation, it's Mr. B. Now I know many of you are just starting out in your careers. Uh, maybe you're still in school, maybe you're uh, entry level position. But if you're not already, one day, Lord willing, you're going to be in a position of leadership in your job or in your home, in your church, wherever it might be. So I want to talk about this thing called leadership. Now, anyone can tell somebody what to do. It doesn't take a leader to boss somebody around. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of differences between just telling somebody what to do because they have the authority to do so and leading someone. Leadership is different than authority. Authority requires someone to comply. Leadership inspires people to comply. Authority mandates and leadership motivates. I want you to think about that. And obviously we're Christians and we believe in what you know the Bible teaches and that's where we should draw our example examples. Obviously I can't go through all the scriptures with you today but if you want to be a leader you first need to be a follower or a servant. God's Word is very clear on this. So turn real quick in your Bibles, turn to the book of Matthew chapter 23. I'm going to read just a couple verses here. Matthew 23, and I'm going to read verse 11 and 12. And this is Jesus speaking. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall be exalted shall be abased. Whosoever shall, be exalt, whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, excuse me, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Now that's very clear. And if you remember back to the story of Jesus when he showed his servitude by washing his disciples' feet. So the first thing I want you to know about leadership is you, you must be a servant to be a leader. Consider Jesus' example himself. Turn to the book of Philippians. Go to Philippians chapter 2. Let me read a very familiar section of scripture. Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to start in verse 5. Philippians 2, 5 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Think about that. Think about Jesus' own example. All-powerful, almighty, left his position in heaven to come here. He was the perfect example of servant leadership. Now, 2,000 years later, look at the impact that Jesus Christ's ministry and his leadership has had on this world and is still having on this world. And I hope that's the kind of leader you want to be, a leader that inspires, a leader that motivates, not just someone that uses their authority to boss people around. Remember, there's a difference between leadership and authority. And I know you, God's put in you everything you need to have to be a true leader in the same way Jesus Christ was. All right, bye now. I love you, and I'll see you next time.